Hey everyone and welcome to this Apparent Tips episode. Um, today we are going to make a um, parallel charging cable for um, small 1S batteries that are used for the blade indu inductrix. So I have actually ordered um, some leads like those ones over here. Uh, they were pretty cheap. I will post a link in the description to where you can find these. To create the adapter, we, be, we will be using um, an XT60 connector. So first thing that we have to do is solder some wires on here. Um, I will use a bigger gauge. I will use some leftover silicone wires from my uh, my quadcopter build. Uh, they are gauge 14 if I'm not mistaken, which should be plenty uh, to, to provide power to like, I don't know, most probably put five leads on it. Uh, but it, since I have a few, it's easily expendable. So yeah, first thing that I'll do, we will basically put those leads on here. There you go. I have stripped the end of it, twisted them to make sure that no leads, no uh, wires are actually, uh, the wires are not going everywhere. I am going to thin them and solder them on the XT60 connector. So let's put the wires in. So this one's gonna be the plus. On the XT60 connectors, if you've never used them, uh, there is a plus and a minus sign just to make sure that you don't make any mistakes on which wire you have to solder where. Um, So now my two wires are soldered. All right. So I've got my shrinking tube over here. I'm gonna place it on here. And the wire is still a little hot, so I'm just gonna go very quick and. And since it, the connector is a little hot, it's going to actually shrink the tube a little bit. So it's going to help. Just make sure you're all the way at the end of the connector before placing it. And so with my lighter, kind of hard to do over here on the camera since it's pretty close. I will just, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that off camera, but still, you, you can just see. There we go. All right. So there you go, it's all shrinked up. I will put uh, 
a bigger piece of shrinking tube just over everything over everything just to make sure that if I pull something it's not gonna pull in the shrinking tube all right so I've placed my shrinking tube over here now we will proceed with stripping those ends and adding the um, the small connectors over here I have my two shrinking tubes over here all right so I have twist them all together so it makes a, a bunch of wires um, now I'm gonna thin them and I'm gonna solder them and I'm gonna thin those actually as well and I'm gonna solder them together So I will put my shrinking tube around here and all right so the heat shrink, heat shrink is placed around the connections that we've made and that's it we have a parallel charging cable um, uh, I'll link a video that explains parallel charging pretty well um, so that's it I hope you liked it uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, thank you, and have a nice one.